All right, in today's video, I'm gonna go over growing lettuce um, in a hot climate during the summer. I'm gonna go on how to revitalize the potting soil for your next planting. If you're growing it in a pot, which I do recommend for uh, growing it in a high heat condition, especially in the summer, I'll go over that. As well as the type of lettuce I'm going to be planting, which I think is a really good variety and it's been around for a, uh, a very long time so the first thing we need this this lettuce here obviously you can see that it's wilted but it's bolted so it's already started to send up shoots for a couple of weeks um, of and it's getting ready to flower so if you want to collect you know um, your lettuce seed you would continue that process to happen it would eventually flower to get pollinated it stuff would dry up and then you could collect the seeds but I'm not going to do that so this lettuce here um, you know, these when it starts to bolt, this type of lettuce, the, the new growth is very bitter, so you wouldn't want to eat that. So I'm just going to put this in a composter. And the roots on this stuff are very, very impressive, if you can see how, I mean, deep that is. I mean, that's really good root quality there. So I'm going to compost all this, try to shake off the excess, but I have some more stuff to... So once you get your pot cleaned out, I'm going to um, add some new potting soil or garden, uh, like a raised bed mix, whatever you want to put in there. I happen to have this miracle Grow moisture control on hand, so that's what I'm going to put in there. After that, I'm going to put in a organic uh, grain and fertilizer. What I have on hand is some flower tone. You can use garden tone, plant tone. Really doesn't matter. Any type of granular um, organic fertilizer. It, if you care about organic, if you don't care about organic, you could just use a you know a regular just uh, chemical fertilizer. You know there is some fertilizer in that potty mix. It's not a lot. I also have some azomite on hand. You don't have to put this in there. I just happen to have some. I covered this in the video I did my soil test. It's basically just rock dust minerals that have micronutrients in it that come from an area in Utah. Now I'm just gonna mix all that stuff up really good. Break up some of the roots that are still in there.
All right, so at this point, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit more organic fertilizer on there, mix it in right quick. Then I'm going ahead and water it. I wanna get the soil wet so the seeds have something to stick to versus putting the seeds in when it's dry and watering a lot because they'll want to float and those seeds are just gonna settle wherever they settle versus if you put them in when the soil's wet, it should hold them a little bit better. So that's about a gallon of water or so put in that pot. It's gonna let it sit for a little bit, let it drain down. We'll go over these lettuce seeds. So this lettuce variety here is called Paris Island. Um, it's named after the island off of South Carolina, which is where they do marine boot camp at. It's on Paris Island. So this has been around since 1952. It was developed by the USDA with a partnership with Clemson um, University, which is in South Carolina. They do a lot of agriculture stuff. Um, but it's a romaine style lettuce. It is somewhat disease resistant. I never really had a problem with lettuce disease anyway, but it is somewhat disease resistant. It's re somewhat resistant to bolt, um, to bolting. So it's lettuce is still going to bolt, but some type of greens or some types of lettuce, like as soon as it gets hot, they want to get out of there and start sending up that seed stock. And of course, when those new leaves start to grow, it gets very bitter. This is somewhat resistant to it and will give you a longer harvesting period. Um, it was also, it's said to be one of the most nutritious green lettuces. And maybe that's why the USDA was involved in the development of it back in 1952. So it's been around for 70 years. It is considered an heirloom. Um, and it's just rated really well. I've been impressed with it. You, what I typically do is I do cropping. So cropping is when you pull just the leaf salt that you need and you continue to uh, let it grow and you just harvest what you need versus if you, you could let it grow and harvest it all at one time, but I typically just do cropping, harvest what I need and just allow it to continue to grow versus pulling the whole plant out and kind of calling it quits. So it's up to you what you want to do, but if you crop it, it'll keep giving you lettuce for probably a couple months. So that has soaked in a little bit, it's wet. I'm gonna sprinkle these seeds in and when I seed stuff, I seed kind of heavy. Um, you don't have to do that. I, I get a little excessive. give you an example I'll probably do that if not a little bit more that's quite a bit of seeds and if anything I'll just thin it out you know later on or you can obviously harvest as baby greens if you want to as well um, totally up to you what you want to do so just kind of spread that out and don't worry I'm going to cover it with soil here in a second That's definitely plenty. That was more than enough. So I'm just gonna pat that down a little bit so it'll stick. I'm gonna take some more of this uh, potting mix. And if you're curious on the planting depth, it's a quarter of an inch, so not much at all. And we're just gonna water that in a little bit. 
gently. Yeah, that's all there really is to it. Um, you know, got to keep this watered every single day, um, especially during the summer. I mean, an area I'm in, we're in like we're having 90 degree heat. Um, last yesterday was actually apparently like the hottest day that we've had in like three years. So it could be it's a very hot summer. Um, it do better if you can keep it in a part shade. So lettuce definitely does need some sun. But if you have an area where you can put it, where you can get some afternoon shade, when the sun's the hottest and the most intense, that would be great. It would help it not dry out as fast. It would also help prevent it from bolting as quick. Yeah, but just water it every single day. It should germinate within a week, if not sooner. This has seven to 10 days for sprout period. When it's this warm like this, it should sprout pretty quick. Um, water it every day. Um, about after about two weeks or so, I'll probably start applying organic fertilizer once a week, something like Aggie Thrive. Don't have to do that. I think it'll make it grow better. If you don't care about the organic stuff, you know, just use some uh, Blue Miracle Grow, which has a high nitrogen content. Um, and yeah, that's all there is to it. So you can grow lettuce, you know, lettuce all year round. You can grow it during the summer. You can probably do from like spring till fall. You can probably do at least like three crops of it. It does a lot better in a pot during the summer and it's just easier to manage um but yeah if you have any questions just let me know but yeah super simple hope you'll have a good day